Hello everybody, welcome to Build Fly Go. So shorter video this time than usual. It's been sort of a weird week. Uh, the summary of this week's building has been basically finishing the flaps and the ailerons. Uh, the flaps use up a ton of space, so of course I didn't have a lot of room to, to work on anything else. So here we're uh, riveting the bottom skin to the to the spar and so the nose skin on. Um, I find that this is definitely a two-person job. You know, you, uh, other builders, of course, can uh, can do this uh, one one-handed. <laughs> I unfortunately cannot. I find that my my workmanship, the finish of this work, comes out much nicer um, if I do it together with Mary because of the the way the I have to sort of feed my hand in between the two skins. But it's definitely doable with one person, and many people do. So. Finish that, and then I'm just closing out some of the, the rivets of the nose skin to the nose skin ribs. The plans here are pretty interesting. They're very particular about the order in which you're supposed to do things to keep it nice and straight. Um, I put the flap aside momentarily there, and then we did the same thing with the uh, aileron by riveting the that, that bottom skin on. We're now gluing the trailing edge uh, of the... Um, flap. It's a it's a wedge that gets a pro seal put on it, and then it gets uh, riveted. Uh, I'm sorry, put in place, uh, clicoed in place, and you're supposed to weigh down the flap. You'll you'll see that there's some clamps and a bunch of weights to keep it as flat as possible, right? Like that's a really big surface, and you want to make sure that there's no waviness, there's no twist, um, things like that. And then when you're done, you go back and you pull the, you try and leave, uh, keep it flat, of course. Um, and uh, then you rivet, uh, you know, the <laughs> the trailing edge. There's a couple of different ways of doing that trailing edge with rivet. Um, one of them is with a back rivet set uh, where you put a plate and a plate down and then you put the, the, spot, uh, the flap on it. Jeez, can't speak today. The flap on it and then you use a back rivet set over the top. Um, the other way is the way that I've been doing mine, which is uh, there are some um, squeezer dies that are angled um, that are the proper angle for that. And that has worked out pretty well for me. Um, I'm happy with how both of my control surfaces came out. Um, and you can see here I'm doing exactly the same thing for the aileron. Um, these have to, I let them sit for two days, which is why we didn't get a lot of work done um, this week. Because basically I had the flaps that used up two whole days while they, while they set. And you let them set so that they don't move when you rivet them. Anyway, more about this in a future video. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll talk again soon. Have a great day.